EMP Live TV. One of the bands of the moment, without doubt, has to be Swedish band Sabaton. Yes, they've been touring, they've been very busy, they've been touring for the whole world, like the last year, non-stop. So I'm very lucky that I have the privilege to talk to Per, because he made some time on Legendas That Rock, and this is what he has to say. Thank you very, very much. I came already yesterday, so I can enjoy the, the nice weather. and the hot weather. Well, yes, it is very hot, but I love it, so it makes me in a good mood. You're happy. I see you happy today. Yeah, I am very happy. You know, I come from the north in Sweden or whatever, and it's normally yeah. cold. This summer was very bad up there, yeah. but coming here, oh. a lot of people, they complain about the heat, like, oh, it's 35 degrees, it's horrible. I think it's, ah! Oh! You're so excited. <laughs> yes, I am. Good, good. Well, this is the thing. Sabaton is known for, you know, surprises with every single show they do. How are you going to surprise us tonight? Uh, I think just by going onto the stage, because we are in such a good mood in the band. Yeah. So I, I think this will be just a simple, good day. We're going to be the ones who surprise tonight. Right. I'm pretty sure. We have set the bars pretty high because we know the crowd is going to be great. Okay. We know it's going to be great. Okay. But we are not sure how great. And I think we're going to be shocked because, you know, we were at the uh, Rockfest like two weeks ago. It was amazing. Yeah. But I think tonight... It's going to be better. Yes. Those people out there, they are very, very excited. And Sabaton here is higher on the building. So I guess more people come here for us. I think so, I think so. There's so many people wearing the Sabaton t-shirt today. I've never seen so many people, you know, like very excited about you, you know, performing tonight. So I'm really looking forward for it. Anyway, Heroes, your latest album last year. It was received by the public in general, but for your fans really well. But mostly for, you got new fans with it. And you've been touring the whole 2014 non-stop. And you still tour it. How do you prepare for that? It's like psychologically, like, I don't know, you visit so many countries as you. Well, me personally, I've been on the road for 300 days now. 300 days? The last, uh, the last year I've been on, on the road for 300 days. I think we have done something like 170 concerts maybe. And um, we are just on a, on a very, very good mood now. It is the band rolls itself. And we just have to steer it now in the right direction. And while we are doing this, it opens so many opportunities. And I don't want to let go of any opportunity. This is why I want to play everywhere and I want to use this chance. When we have this chance, if we don't take this chance now, when Sabaton is growing and growing, we maybe never get it again. So for me, this is the time when... Yeah, when you want to have to work harder. We have to work extremely hard. Sure, the album and everything in the in the last years has been very good yeah. for Sabaton. Yeah. But it's not a reason to relax. Success is a reason to work harder. And this is why we are touring so much. I think it's great. I think it's great. And also you have a really tight agenda for the next part of the year as well. Uh, no, well, not really a tight agenda like that. I mean, we are... Not like last year, but it uh, will be tight anyway. We are doing... Uh, Today, after today, we have four more festivals in four more days. Four. And then, when that is done, we have one show left in our hometown, the Sabaton Open Air Festival. That's what I was about to ask you. It's the eighth edition. Yes, it is. How this idea came out, I think it's brilliant. Well, um, we live in a small town. I know. There's nothing happening there, and no promoters who book any shows or anything. But I wanted to do something when we were releasing the album, The Art of War. Yeah. So I started a little festival and it was Sabaton and mostly local bands and some band from Germany, but it was pretty small. It was so fun that I couldn't stop doing it. And the next year we move outdoor. And the year after that we inclu included with two days. Yeah. And then we moved it to two stages. And now it's a three day festival with two stages. And we have fans coming from more than 30 countries. They are coming from Japan, from South Africa, from uh, 
Canada and from Spain to our little hometown for a weekend where everybody basically is a Sabaton fan. And we book only the bands we are friends with and we like. I think that's a brilliant idea. And you also have the Sabaton Cruise. And there's something very particular about the Sabaton Cruise because besides that it goes, the trip is 20 hours, people doesn't know which band's gonna play until the last second. And why is that? Well, we know more. I mean, the focus on the cruise is on Sabaton. Yeah. But we every year want to give the people a good band, which we like, which we keep secret. So it's one of the uh, important things. Like on our festival in our hometown, the cruise has the same idea. Everybody who is there is there for the same reason. This is why there can be no fights, there can be no angry people. First of all, metal fans are very nice to each other. But when you have only fans there for one reason, it's super great feeling. So they are all very, very happy. And the atmosphere is so amazing. There's 2,000 fans on the same cruise. And we can only go to the stage and sit down and they will sing every song. We can just watch and it's unbelievable. People who come there, they say this is uncomparable around the world, this Sabaton Cruise, because the dedication of the fans there is amazing. I think that you take really good care of your fans in general. I actually saw that on your official website, you have a forum where you, you know, interact with your fans. And I think that's so good and it's very nice. And now I want to know, what's the most weird comment that someone written? Well, I mean, I answer everything that comes in via the website. It's you! Yeah. You're the one! So, and um, I get uh, a lot of strange questions, you know, in emails and stuff. And, of course, a lot of people, they write good things, you know. And this is how we get ideas for some songs. They, they, they send us, like, maybe you should think about writing a song about this or that. This is absolutely great. Sometimes they come, maybe you should write a song about Star Wars or whatever, which is not really us, but anyway. Uh, or And they come with different requests. They could ask, like, can I marry your singer or something like that? No, you cannot, but thanks for thinking. I think that's thinking. normal, but, you know. And that's, um, and we, we do get a lot of strange requests. Like what? Uh, well, I find it pretty strange in, in some ways that, you know, can I join the band or... Uh, Go on tour with you. Oh, to be a member or something like uh, your, your uh, guitar player sucks. I'm a much better player, but that's I a bit rude. I think it's also a little bit rude, but I answer in a very polite way that yes, you are a fantastic guitar player. I'm sure, but yeah. we are already a five-piece band and we don't need you. So for now, you can create your own. Go ahead. If you are this great guitar player, you should form your own band and go your own way. I think that's better. Absolutely. One thing that Sabaton is known for is for their warlike lyrics. Yep. I think it's pretty strong and it's really good. Where did you get the inspiration to write the songs, the lyrics mostly? I mean, we get them from a, a lot of different places. And I collect them over the years. And I saved them down for the future. I have so much saved. Because in 2010, we asked the fans to start sending in ideas. I got 10,000 ideas to go through for the Coat of Arms album. 10,000? Yes, for the Coat of Arms album. That's a pretty lot. Wow. A lot of people say the same, of course, and, and but approximately 10,000 ideas came in. So that's more than enough to write hundreds of albums in the future. So we, we can, we're not going to run dry. <laughs> and unfortunately, sadly enough, it's in the human nature to, to make war and fight and kill each other. Unfortunately, it is. It, it is horrible, yes. And I wish, even if it would mean the end of Sabaton, I wish that there was peace everywhere, of course, and never anybody killing each other. But there are people, and we just sing about it in a non-political way, telling the stories about it. And we of found heroes, it, for example. Yeah, we, we find it interesting for us to write about it, because it means something more than just to make up history, make yeah. something, write about fantasy, science fiction or something. We, for us, that's not so interesting. History is interesting for us, and to tell stories of okay, the real world. My question is, when, when do you sleep? Because you're like so busy. You have the cruise, you have the Sabaton <laughs> over there, you have 10,000 lyrics written already. When we sleep... Uh, you're 300 in the days, a year on tour. But come on. No, I mean, we, we get a lot of sleep actually. It's because it's pretty convenient to tour. Yeah. Because uh, a simple thing can be complicated when you're home. Because you're alone. 
or you have your family maybe, but when you are on the tour, you have so many people who cannot help you with everything. So, a lot of things are so easy to handle when we are on tour. If I say, for example, that, oh, uh, I don't know how to do this with my computer, I'm sure there's somebody in the crew who can help me immediately. And the problem is solved. If I, uh, if I need uh, to, to go and get strings for my guitar, I mean, somebody will help me, somebody will get it. So it's very convenient. You want ice cream, someone runs for you and brings you the ice cream, for example. Yes. Oh, so. well, can I be in your band? But actually, that, that makes that me can uh, I can work with the other things. So I can do these things because I have so many good people around me all the time, over the year, all, everywhere in the world. I have so many great people working for us. So I can work for looking into the future of the band. I think it's great. I think that's called planning as well, you know? That's very well, very well. Okay. But it was really nice to meet you and welcome to Spain. We're looking forward to enjoy the show tonight. And I know that you too, so... The pleasure is all mine, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> per from Sabaton for EMP Live TV. I'm Pat from Sabaton, I'm here at Leander Stel Rock in Spain. I'm having a great time and you're watching EMP Music Live TV. Hey there, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments down below on the comment box. And also you can click on the link of EMP so you can see everything. The latest on fashion, merchandising of your favorite bands, contests and more. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe with EMP Live TV. Yes. <laughs>